So we're here, Southern Ocean, Bremer Bay. We've gone straight out 24 nautical mile from the Bremer uh, Marina. And we've come to where we normally go to see our killer whales um, for the austral summer. And uh, we're towards the end of our season, but um, it seems to have taken a bit of a, a bit of a turn and we've uh, been gifted with potentially over a hundred uh, different killer whales that we've never ever seen before along this coastline. Um, they look different, they, they are a different size, they're a different colour, um, their patterns are different, their eye patches are different. So we've just kind of been mind blown, I think we're, we're, we're here making a bit of history. Um, yeah, we're, we're in where we would normally be for, for our killer whale sightings, for our expeditions. Um, I'm talking, probably talking really fast because I'm really excited, but just behind me over my shoulder you can probably see a group of um, probably 40 to 50 killer whales of all ages. We've got our big males here, we've got calves, um, yeah, it's just fantastic. I'm frothing and yeah, really excited. The crew is just having, a, having an amazing time right behind us as well. <laughs> just about to come up here within 20 metres of the vessel. Back of the boat. We've got lots of different populations around the world. Oh my god. So typically we would take ID photos of our killer whales and, and try and identify who they are. Through through identification we can work out um, habitat, where they go, um, specific individuals looking at their patterns, their distribution, but today with these orca they, they all look very similar, they have very similar eye patches um, and completely different to our Bremer Bay killer whales, so this is pretty big in terms of science, it's the first I've heard of um, other orca being sighted off of the West Australian coastline, a different population potentially. An enigma to tell the truth because it's the third time this week and never before seen in Bremer Bay. But phenomenal the behaviour, the tight knit, the number of males in the group, there's so many things that are raising questions that we need to try and find the answers to.